I do think this is a very, very unusual trilogy. Each movie, I kind of invent a new tone and a new life, a world that these characters are living in. So it was really different for me to kind of bring characters from two different movies that I had invented earlier. Unbreakable was the completely distinct stylistic approach. People weren't making comic book movies, so it seemed silly to even mention. And then we did Split because of the reveal at the end. We couldn't tell anybody what it really was, that we were setting up a comic book villain in the Unbreakable world. But with Glass, we can say that's exactly what we're grappling with. What if comic books were based on reality? Obviously, I started thinking more and more, well, what would happen? Sam would joke, what are we making the sequel? It's a valid culmination of a trilogy. It'll give an audience a sense of closure. And when we show it with an audience, their reactions are catching all of these references and having known Unbreakable so well and seeing what are the connections 18 years later is really powerful. When I first saw the three main characters in the room together, it was special. All of these characters from my head kind of all sitting together in costume was weird and fun. So the idea of making the final movie of this conversation, it was never super clear. And then when I finished Split, I started thinking more and more, what's well, common of these two movies? The overall theme of this movie and Unbreakable and Split too is, what do we all have inside of ourselves? What are we really capable of? What was great was that it was taking super people, superheroes, super villain archetypes and putting them in a very, very different kind of movie. It's probably the most ambitious thriller that I've ever done. My favorite thing about this movie is that question of good and evil. First name, Mr. Last name, Glass.